the trellised watermelons taken off pretty good. You need to guide them up a little bit. These guys are starting to bunch up down here. Got some more little ones coming on. That's a nice sized one there. About a baseball size. The I need to redirect these cats. They're outside the fence. Uh, those are uh, uh, spaghetti squash. Got some flowers on there. I don't see anything coming up yet. Tomatoes starting to flower. I've seen some fruits on there. Oh, there's some right there. Onions are... I like to use those for pearl onions. The, uh, the smaller, the, the tops are the... They're, they're called uh, walking onions or Egyptian onions. Pretty cool. And then, yeah, got those things going crazy. Pepper's starting to do pretty good. Got some shishitos coming on. Some uh, Fresnos. Jalapeno, uh, lemon spice. Another uh, Fresno. This one here, the uh, squirrels are chewing off the, the fruits on them. It's a variegated, triple variegated. Got some Santa Fe Grandes. Uh, got some more chocolate. Looking good. Couple others, don't have much on them. Oh, there's a Swamp Thing, looking pretty good. Doesn't really look like Swamp Thing. I, if I remember correctly, Swamp Thing was wrinkly. And uh, Trinidad Maruga Scorpion. That guy got chewed on. Got some uh, sweet potatoes going on there. More sweet potatoes. <clears throat> these guys are not they're not doing very good for me in this uh in this medium uh that's uh ground cherries got some uh cherry punch tomatoes or some there's some little there's some red ones on there pick those real quick pretty dense plant but I, I thought that was a certain, I think that's a semi-determinant. Um, I didn't want to clip off any suckers. The tip there got some damage on it from something. Uh, those are my favorite sweet pepper. It's a, a habanada. You got a little red bell. Plants aren't the, aren't the sturdiest. A lot of fruits on there. I need to put them in a cage, I suppose. Another habanada. Got another uh, semi-ripe. I don't like to let my, my some of my peppers get all the way ripe because uh, the squirrels tear them up. Those are uh, those are uh, shishitos. And then got some nemesis over there, little rabbit. The uh, see this rabbit hopped up in there. It was squirrel and chewed on my um, on my. Uh, um, I can't remember what those are. There's some cosmos. Uh, they they chewed all those guys. Some more nice bell pepper in there. Apple crisp. I need to put them in a cage. <clears throat> There's a Florina sweet. That is a uh, Yolo Wonder. Doesn't look like a, a Yolo Wonder, but some more small bells. Some more sweet peppers here. And then the sweet pepper. And got the. The uh, 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 
beans, uh, lima beans. And like I showed them, said in my last uh, few videos that those will probably be uh, for seed for next year. These purple beans aren't doing very good at all. I don't know what's up with these, but got some uh, uh, tiger melon going crazy. They need to be revined up there. Different colored uh, snapdragons. Really like those guys. The yellow is beautiful. And that's the watermelon. And it's starting to go crazy. I need to get up, climb up there and get them up over the top of the, the trellis there. And there's a the little watermelon right there. That's a picnic watermelon. And there are the edamame soybeans and they are doing phenomenal. I mean, my foot is 12 inches. That shoe is 12 inches long. And uh, not a size 12, but actual 12 inches. And they're doing pretty good. I don't see any uh, open flowers. I see some buds. And then uh, we've got some uh, scallops uh, squash, a patty pan squash. Quite a few of them going on in there. Some nice sized ones. Those need, uh, need to be uh, harvested. And then we got the uh, the uh, uh, I think that is the uh, uh, I think that's actually tiger melon and this one is the banana melon a cantaloupe variety and I need to trellis that one up a little better it's doing pretty good though and then got some okra a little late and that's pretty cool fruit there some uh, honey nut squash Coming along pretty good. We really like those. I mean, quite a few, quite a few on. That's pretty cool. Happy about that. We really like those. We, we go through those pretty good. And they usually last us, uh, you know, into March, you know. Um, these purple beans, they, they took a little bit of hit on the wind, but that's okay. They're a bush bean. They got buds coming on pretty good. Uh, oh, I got actually got a little bean there. Yeah, we'll go over and check him out. Well, I thought I had a little bean on there. Maybe that was just a leaf. Yeah. I got some uh, some vine weed growing up in there. I have to cut that in the in the bud there. Onions. Supposed to have gotten some rain, but I don't think we did that well. Let this, uh, it's a uh, top soy. Let that go to go to seed. Probably harvest these guys here. Um, got some lemon, lemon cucumber. Some uh, red red uh, celery green celery They're coming along pretty good and then uh, got this uh, Lebanese bush uh, zucchini those are fantastic fantastic tasting um, got the, the bitter melon they go pretty pretty fast I probably need to walk down the back side and trellis them up and I seen a fruit yesterday on this over here somewhere I can't find it today but hopefully nothing chewed it but I did see a fruit over here yesterday and then we got a uh, Another, uh, I think that's a, um, a uh, Korean melon. Those things are bushy. That's that's crazy. We've got a tomato in there. The Korean melon's growing all up on the tomatoes. 
I haven't seen a Korean melon yet up here, but I mean back here, but in the one up front I have some tomatoes coming on, a few eggplants, and something like I've been saying, something's chewing up the eggplants pretty bad. <clears throat> but fortunately we have a good number of eggplants. And then we have our sunflower sunflower seeds, I mean sunflower uh, plants. These are gonna be for my wife's cut flowers. That one's ready to go. And that one, I can't get the best picture on that one, but pretty good. And the uh, eggplants are starting to come along. And got a branch. <laughs> that blew in there from the the heaviest winds we've had. Uh, got some uh, cool purple, purple fruit, fruited flowers, purple plants. I really like purple plants, peppers. And some guys that are trying to make a comeback there. Some cilantro that's done. I'm just saving the seeds. Chijimisai, peppers. This is a chijimisai. Chijimisai is a green. Some uh, various peppers, arugula. The uh, these are supposed to be uh, jalapenos, and they got an odd shape, but they're good size. They're doing good. Some more Fresnos. Got some arugula going to seed. I'll keep save those seeds. That is a uh, uh, capsicum pubescence. Not sure what variety it is, but they're black seeds. So I know when I planted the back black seed, it's a it's a, a pubescent of some size, some type of ricotto. And then there's some more. Here's some eggplant plants. These are my better my better plants. And I don't know just if it's the variety or not, but that's little finger. It's supposed to be little finger, but it uh the plant definitely doesn't look like a little finger last year they were not even i mean they were like half that size but here's another dark plant i really like dark plants and i can't see what that guy is and then that's the indian green and they're starting to come on pretty good uh, fairy tale starting to come on that's uh that is a Japanese long. Oh, and that so that would that'd be a Nagasaki long. The dark purple one is. I don't see any fruit on there yet. And then back there, I've got a silver slicer cucumber. Actually, there's a fruit coming on. There's a couple of them right there. And this is a tomato. That is one of my uh, dwarfs. At Buddy's heart. And I didn't. I, I'm. I don't know. I probably need to pinch them back but I was trying to keep them small I need to prune back some of the stuff off of the these are reapers they're just starting to flower so that's that's encouraging but these guys are latching on to the to the reapers and that we'll just let them uh, they're okay to come over to over the edge but and that's a peach reaper blush or peach blush reaper and that's supposed to be my white reaper white reaper i don't want to cage them up uh, but yeah and then these guys i've noted up before that they just don't seem to be doing quite as well i need to feed them i'm still still haven't got around to uh shooting any uh, any any fertilizer on them uh, and then we just don't use a lot of basil. I like growing it. I love the smell of it. But that's lemon basil, and it just needs to be mowed down. <laughs> the wind got to the uh, to the broccoli rob, the ones that were blooming. But as you can see, I got some uh, seeds coming on there. I have those, and I, I I save seeds for everything that I have, and I trade seeds. So if anybody's interested in trading anything, another uh, sunflower getting ready to open up. Uh, 
This is my uh, Cali Bush watermelon. And it's uh, uh, four different varieties of cucumbers in there. There's uh, there's that long guy right there. That one's probably eight inches or better. That's a uh, that's a slicer. Then I have a uh, I have uh, um, uh, lemon lemon in there, lemon cucumber, and I haven't seen any uh, any lemon cucumbers coming up yet but then again i traded it with my uh with my uh garden group and uh like i commented before the there's been a lot of things that haven't been coming up true to what they're saying they are uh, i harvested some cucumber cucumbers today uh, you see this the back side and it needs a little bit of attention to uh, but Yep, then I'll run up to check out the, uh, I love uh, Red Reuben and that uh, that variegated one. I really like that. I'll grow that, that say that seed again. Uh, but I didn't touch on these guys. This is, uh, this here is um, a daikon radish. And then I've got some volunteer tomatoes that I'll I'll pluck them guys out of there and then put them over there uh, I had put a tomato over there and it looks like something dug it out uh, and then these were the damaged uh, uh, my wife's flowers these are all um, these are all uh, gladiolas so I'm hoping that they come back some were dug out you can see the spaces but yeah, I got one, got another uh, um, volunteer there. Got some volunteer uh, garlic chives. Uh, got, uh, so this here is a, a green that my wife really likes. And it's uh, one we don't see very well often here, she says. Uh, and you can see uh, it went to seed like crazy. I had one plant that I thought was beautiful, so I let it go. And it took over. So I'll uh, harvest what she wants. This is a pumpkin. Harvest what she wants and then I'll till the rest of this stuff in. Weed that in. Uh, yeah, that tomato that I put in there, something dug it out. Um, and we still have a few things that I need to, I need to stop being lazy and prepare uh, some uh, rotted compost for the uh, for the uh, um, asparagus and I don't know if I'll even end up I probably will end up messing with it but it's it's looking bad it's the uh, it's uh, uh, leeks but here's my other uh, there's two um, uh, Korean melons in there and my wife said she's seen a melon in here a little guy I don't see any, but that doesn't mean much. Cause you'll see them, and then you, then another day you won't, and maybe they've fallen off. But it's a nice, dense little plant. I need to get that separated a little bit better, and get the uh, get it, get it start going up the uh, trellis is better. All right, that's the. Uh, just an overview of my garden. No, it's not all that exciting, but.